Hello everyone, my name is Jay Beetle. Welcome to Starward Rogue. It is, of course, a roguelike, as you might ex expect. And I'd say, it, out of just recent knowledge, it's the closest to Binding of Isaac as far as a roguelike as I've played in a long time. There are plenty of other good games that are roguelikes, you know, Rogue Legacy and uh, Rampage Knights, but they aren't really like Binding of Isaac, and I consider Binding of Isaac the best. That being said, we'll see if it it holds up to Binding of Isaac. We just gotta think of a new way of, of calling this specific type of roguelike. I don't know. But let's start a new run. I've only done one run with one character just so I wouldn't be fumbling around and I'm very glad that I did that. I did not get very far, as you shouldn't if you're new to a game, unless you're just a natural. So we have a, a few characters and they were apparently all unlocked and they have different stats. So we got the white gloss, which is your average. Flame tank, it starts with a flamethrower? Yeah, flamethrower primary weapon. Indigo Depole. Magnetic, magnetic missile launcher? I don't know about that. Green envy, 10% chance of gaining a credit on every enemy kill and 1% chance of gaining a key card on every enemy kill. Weak missile launcher with very high blast radius, making it able to chew through more obstacles per slot. However, more XP is required for each level up. Ooh, that's sort of hard mode-ish, isn't it? That's, a, that's an interesting hard mode, though. Usually hard modes are essentially like sniper characters where you need more accuracy and you get less experience. I don't know. Anyway, Deep Blue. Difficult to learn to use, but rewarding when you do. A weaker main attack means that you have to rely more on your little robot beam cannon, buddy. Okay. So he has a little friend. And then Redshift. Time only moves when you move. What? Alright, I'm not going to start with that, but you guys need to come back to another episode because I can consider that being like crypto the necrodancer or something i don't know i probably have the wrong image any let's anyway let's just start with the original white gloss he just has a simple everything so if you're a fan of binding of isaac you already have this set up in your mind there's a map you got to go through these doors different doors mean different things i'm not quite sure what the difference between green and white is or purple but this relies way more on bullet hell than Bind of Isaac does. And I think you can shoot the bullets in this case. I went to the boss room first, which is a dumb move. And I might restart here, just because this is so unfair. Wow, I should not have gone here. I wouldn't call it unfair, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we beat it. Ooh. Yeah, it's more bullet hell, less interesting mo monsters that have barf for projectiles, things like that. But it still has buying rooms, you know, stores, health, bombs, in this case they're missiles, but either way, we need credits, we need everything right now, because I'm 9 out of 12 health, I'm surprised I did not take more damage. But this is definitely more movement based than Binding of Isaac, but I can't say that's a bad thing. It's, it's kind of a cliche type of story though, I think. Which there isn't really much of a story, but essentially you're trying to make your way out of this starship. I mean, anything sci-fi is kind of the same. Laser shooting, everything's futuristic looking. There is really nice voice acting, actually, but it's only in the tutorial as far as I know. So I don't know what, I don't know about that. Right, this, I have to go, okay, there we go. I thought that was going to be more difficult. Red is bad, blue is good. They also don't tell you that. Yeah, so you have a missile launcher, you have a secondary grenade type, which is, a, is essentially like a cluster bomb that cluster bomb of projectiles, and then the missiles. I don't know if you can switch weapons mid-game. I don't know if you get upgrades kind of like tiers for Bind of Isaac, but... Ooh, that's neat. Kind of pointless, but... Wait, did I not destroy everything? Is there a reason? Oh, he's hiding there. Ah, I see. That wasn't fair, was it? There we go, we can get through that. At least it has some variants. This is, of course, on Steam. Most of my games are on Steam. Or at least eventually going to be on Steam. Wow, that's an interesting monster. You can shoot through it. So many different types of projectiles to remember. It's almost like you want to you focus your eyes on the middle of the screen. Oh my gosh, so many. And then just hope that you use your peripheral correctly. Uh, oh man, it's like little fleas. There is leveling up. Uh, we'll show you that when we get to it. 
as you can see in the top left corner there is experience right there spend um, one of your zero key cards well that's not too great I don't really like the text in this game because it comes and goes really fast almost so that you can't read it and you have to be right up against whatever it is also I didn't realize at first this is a chest this is essentially the, the Isaac chest and in this case what I get is better so yes we do have better weapons Ooh, it's silent why is that silent the original pea shooter it's a stream of needles well it's needles needles don't make much damage I'm surprised I just picked up some oh man it's so, it's so silent I think that's a mistake what am I doing oh I know what I do so let's kill that oh do I have to keep doing that Oh, that's not what you do. Um, I know that will, that can explode over there. That's good. Will these ever stop coming out? That's the question. I guess not. That's all right. What is what is that? Is it coming back? Is it a reactor? I don't know. There's so many things I don't know about this game. I haven't played it that much. I can tell it is very satisfying when you move, bob and weave through everything. And you can actually run. That was an explosion that just hit me. You can run really fast. I don't know why that's not dis enabled on default. I think, or at least an option, because you can all. You you might say, well, you can just have a toggle between the two. Well, there's also a crawl, essentially. Ooh, ooh all right, all right. Let's just run through there. Wait, did I just go through the long... I shouldn't have... I didn't even need to do that. These rooms, I swear, are tricky. Oh, I did need to go through there. Sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, mine. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ow! All for one. One for all. Get that. Some things can only be destroyed by bombs. These things... You can't really tell the difference, can you? But you get used to it. It's like the difference between poop and rocks in a game I haven't totally mentioned a million times by now. And we're, we're playing this through to the end, or to the to the death, whichever one it is, and then you can decide if you want it. I think you probably, probably have already decided. It's a pretty complete game. I don't know how much it is, but I know it's on Steam, I know it's new. It looks like a lot of fun for you guys that really like roguelikes. Uh, Thor, I know, you, I know you'd like this. And, you know, others that have spoken up. Nuclear Throne people. Sporb, I don't know if Sporb actually watches my channel anymore, but he hangs out during streams sometimes. I know you'd like this. You were just playing a bullet hell game. So we are in the boss room, I guess? Yeah, second phase here. And all the so far, all the bosses are kind of like this. They don't, they are not based. Their difficulty is not based on their movement. Like you're not going to run into it necessarily. It's just a bunch of random patterns of, well, not random, a bunch of patterns of bosses. All right. So our first is this. Reduces enemy speed by 10%. Reduces reload time by 10%. Nice. Do I need to reload? Is that a thing? Okay. E. So this is our perk area. Just get to choose between these. So you get three right here. I don't see why you wouldn't want 20% more damage. How, how could you pick that over two more missiles? I must be missing something. Now that being said, I'm in the boss room, right? So I can go down here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go all the way back down here really quick. And I can actually, cause I can run, no. Went the wrong way. I forgot I could teleport through that too, but too late. And then go all the, the only room that I haven't opened. Give me that, give me that. There we go. It is a shop. So we're gonna go ahead and get that shop, because I don't know how well this game's balanced. We have our one key card. What are these? Nothing. Can they be exploded in? So we can choose between well actually we don't have to choose between three as long as we have enough. The cost is seven, cost is seven, cost is seven. Three seconds, all energy weapons are free. I don't, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Five seconds, you deal double. Well, these aren't per
permanent, are they? Spend five credits to purchase 40 extreme. Mm. I guess I'll take that card for now. I don't actually know the weapon, but if it's anything like Binding of Isaac, I wouldn't know because I use a controller. Because Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth, Rebirth, whatever, is still using arrow keys and WASD. After all that, I guess it's balanced around that. Here we go. Yeah, there was in the tutorial that you did not see on here. You not, you'll have to buy it to see it. But there was what's over here? Pulse. Oh, I was in the Foster Mart. Um, the tutorial had really good voice acting. It was very short, but I wish that would be in the rest of the game. I feel kind of lo lonely in this world. I have at least two, two familiars before entering the next floor. Well, okay, so it seems like you get one of these every time. It, it's a challenge, so to speak, but I don't really know what you get if you, if you don't do it. Yeah. And some are immediately bad. Reduces energy costs by 20%. Those seem free, there might be one in every floor, like, you know what? So there are apparently multiple bosses that are in a floor. That's something you need. Luckily I can run. Oh, got a direct hit there. Now I do like how fast this is, but it's just holding, it's often holding down the button. Which, eh, I don't know about that. Because we all know in some roguelikes, it depends on the weapon you have, and that's probably. I hope that's true with this game. One of these, but right now it's just. Why would I ever stop shooting it? Because it's so fast. What's stopping me at this point? I see you there. I have no. Yeah, yeah there we go. I have no accuracy. That's what I was gonna say. Something in there? Does it just skip? Okay, it just skips. So we know where the other boss room is to get out of this level. Jeez. And then that. I'm not sure what this does. Can I run over it? Oh, it gives some. I'm afraid of. What? What's the point of that? Well, I wasted a bomb trying to figure it out. And sometimes the monsters will, since they're not monsters actually, they're, they're ships and, and droids and stuff, they'll actually explode and cause other ones to also explode. So you won't even have to kill them. So let's see, these are not, these are sometimes random. The, that first level one I had already seen, but this time it's different. So you double, double healing when health gain, from health gain. gain. <laughs> mm. I'll take that. I'm not getting hit too too much. I know it probably snowballs, but right now oh, there's nothing. What's, what's going on here? Locked. Oh. Key card to unlock. What was it? Oh. Let's try it. Let's try it after this thing goes out of the way. What was? Oh, that's another. Oh, okay. I need to figure out how to use that, by the way. Uh, it's not E. Q, maybe? C? X? Z? Middle click? Um, I'm running out of buttons. V? B? 2, 3, 4? Tab? Nothing. Well. Okay, I already forgot what I picked up. Cripples enemy ships in the explosion range. Now I'd rather do deal, deal double damage. I can't even go that way anyway, stupid card. So we're gonna go all the way back through the boss room. I, I guess I'll just skip the shop anyway. It's not that big of a deal. And we'll go down here to see what's down here. And that's the one I use, so I can't open that. Those are like the mini chests, I guess. The, the gold chests. And the chest rooms. Now here are some very interesting bullets, I have to say. And you know they're gonna have. <laughs> thing about it is, if you're poorly positioned, you know they're going to happen, and then they still screw you over, because it's just a wave. Now, I would love to try that that item for myself. 
it, it has a delay. I can see it's it's downside, but and then there's that chomp. Oh man, there's an endless amount. Luckily, they're all colors that, at least within the room, you get used to what does what, so you can prepare for that. It's very very slow explosions. Oh, okay, you're a monster. You're a ship. You're a droid. You're a computer. You're a bad guy. You're a villain. You're a thug. Got some health, I think. I'm not gonna get this familiar thing, that's for sure. I don't know why you give me something impossible like that. And then we'll just blow that up because I think there's something in there. Yeah, I think that's health. It does not tell me though. And they slowly go away. And we're going down here? We're going down here. Oh, son of a bitch. I still don't know what that means because there's no hover over. Let me through. Are you ever gonna? Nope. Guess there's a better way to get through. Why go this way when you can go the long way? Yeah. And then there is a teleporter somewhere that I can get in. This is a very interesting and complicated room. Hmm. Oh, can I actually go in that? I'm sliding. I feel like I'm sliding, but that might just be because... Ah, there we go. Killed all of those. There's still that guy who was not shooting at me at all. Or at least couldn't fit. And then the final guy. There we go. Oh, and there's something on the map that I do not understand. Is it just a ship, or... I mean, a shop? It doesn't look like a shop, but I guess it is. Important locations revealed. Pick up enough health shards, and you gain more HP. And 2% damage multiplier for your primary weapons. I gotta get that. Oh, I can get all of them. Oh, 12 of 11. I need one more. Well, you know what? <gasps> Crap, that was dumb. I wish I knew how to use a weapon. F? Oh, it's F! It's F. Do I have another key card? No, I do not. So there's a mini boss up here that I definitely want to take on. Interesting mini boss you got there. Interesting death time for me. Gotta be moving fast. Whoa! Did you not give me. Oh, there we go. No, that's nothing. That's just sparkly things. You didn't even give me anything. Got a new level though. That's important. Increases max, ener max energy. Increases max health. I don't know what this energy is about yet, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This might be it for me. Based on my lack of health. You opened. I think I got something out of it. Perhaps not what I wanted, though. Oops. I'm really liking... I'm going to get used to this silence. Card oh, Code over there for three seconds. All energy weapons are free. Well, that's all I have right now, so I'll take it, but... And that's that. I just still don't know what that symbol means. Teleport. We'll keep going to whatever that health thing is. A bit crazy, you guys. A bit crazy. Is that mine? Or is that? Oh, it's like a. It's like a firework. One of those. And we are good. And I got a key. Nice. Oh, I can destroy all that. These throw me off because you can shoot through them, and I don't really... It's not very clear that you can. Increases max health by one at the expense of five energy. Well, yeah, because I don't have energy. Ooh, that was weird. What's happening? Oh, it's the red thingies. That's good to know. That's so cool. I really like that. That's very unique. 
bullet hells are, are very interesting and very rewarding when you complete them. But very difficult, as, as does not need to be said. We have one more room before the boss. And I went too far. Thanks, guys. Can I keep going? Aww. See, it looks open if you look at it a little bit. Like if you glance at it. Because there's a hole. I mean, you can see the door close, but still. Uh, are you done shooting? Going through the long way. I went all the way across and then had to go all the way back. Do, 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 do. Ouch. Caltrops. Futuristic Caltrops. So this is where I would use... Oh, I can't do that. How can I do that then? How can I get in there? Other than to blow it up. Which I totally could. Oh, I have to go all the way around. Fast, might I add. And I didn't even really need to blow that up, did I? Well, not, not worth it for a key. This might be the end anyway. Wallmaster! So we just... Oh my gosh, it's like a laser that shoots lasers. I'm afraid... Uh, I'm afraid of my mistake. That thing's killer! Holy crap! I'm stuck. Oh no. Okay, I just gotta go this way. And then go this way. Oh no! I got it! I understood it. I understood it. It shoots the direction wherever you come out. Oh, I'm on two of, two of five. That's pretty much as far as I got last time. Um, but let me know if you want me to continue playing at Star Wars Rogue, available on Steam today. I enjoyed it a lot, and I will continue in to enjoy roguelike bullet hells until I die. Thanks, everyone, for watching. See you next time. I'm too slow now. No, damn it! Okay. You dead? No, but I almost fell off. Oh, well, there's a cheeseburger I can't get. Yeah, I've got one hit left. <laughs>